21 weeks is considered the accepted minimum that a baby can survive outside the mother's womb. Not to mention abortions are very, very dangerous. Now we can we can go back and say, well, pregnancy is you know some poses some threats. Yes, it does, but what I'm stating my voice of opinion on, there are many scenarios that can go into the situation. Some women take precautionary measures not to get pregnant. Pregnancies are risky. But the risk of abortion is higher. I just do not believe in abortion. I think it is wrong. I think it is murder. You are taking a life. You are making a decision for a life that is not yours. Yes, it's your child, but that is their life. They could be a mother or a father. They could grow up to be the best. And yes, they can grow up to be the worst. But you don't know that. You're, you're making that choice yourself. And it's not, it's, that's not your choice to take a life. It's not a right choice. Let me restate that. It's not the right choice. You can choose to do whatever you want to, but that doesn't make it right. It doesn't make it right. How about this? The best thing to do is just close your damn legs. And, and you won't have to worry about getting pregnant at all. If you know you don't want to have children, don't have sex. Because no matter what kind of precautionary measures you take, you can still end up pregnant. You are told when you are on birth control that it is not 100% accurate that it will prevent pregnancy. Condoms are not accurate to prevent pregnancy. They can burst. Lord knows the phone. I have never been on any birth control in my life. Never. Never taken one pill. Never been taken to the health department to get on birth control. I had my first child. I was 20 years old. I turned 21 four days after she was born. She is now 14. I have two other children. She'll be my middle child. She will be t 11, 12. I'm sorry. She will be 12, May the 1st. My youngest child is 10. My last two children, when I found out I was pregnant with them, it wasn't planned, but I knew I was doing what it took to get pregnant, you know? He asked me to get an abortion. I did not. He wanted me to get an abortion because he didn't want any more kids because he had kids from previous marriage. I didn't want an abortion. And I told him, well, you know, I'll take care of my own children. But I'm not killing them. I'm not, not killing my children. Now, if circumstances would have arose where I wasn't able to take care of them, I would have given them to someone that wanted children and that would take good care of them. I would rather say that I, had, I gave life to a human being and an opportunity for them to live their life than for me to one day say, 
I wonder what my child would have been, a boy or a girl. I wonder what kind of career would they have had. I wonder what kind of impact they would have had on other people's lives. I do not support abortion. That human being growing inside of your body should have the right to live and make choices one day in their life. That human being growing inside of you should have the right and the choice to become whatever it is that they want to be one day in this world. I wonder, what I do wonder about is what if my mom would have decided she wanted to get an abortion and not have me? I think I'm a very good person. I think I have achieved a lot in life. I think that I make very good impressions on people. I think that I have helped people. No, and I take all the I thinks back. I know that I am a very good person. I know that I have made differences in people's lives. I know that I have made some good decisions in my life and some bad, but the good outweigh the bad. And I am very glad to say that my mom did not decide to abort me. Abortion is murder.